Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is going to be Ready. Ready to fight. level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg so he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Well we talked about his reach advantage off the top made good use of it there with that punch DC. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, big first man. Not there. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Look 
had him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big kick lands. Fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, Johnson. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice punch there by Orlovsky. So just over 20 total strikes have now connected for the heavyweight Andre Orlovsky. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Arlovsky going for the head kick. He misses there. Punch coming. It's black. Beautiful counter punch. Really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Under two minutes to go in the round. Oh, he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the cleanest of the bunch. He turned his chin, made his chin touch his shoulder with that beautiful right. hook. He really got all of himself into that hook, pivoted off the right hand, big left hook lands. What a great punch. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Nice. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Set him up. Set him up. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Right punches there. Olavsky's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Big kick lane. 45 seconds remain in the round. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Good stick. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Head kick lands. Fifteen seconds to go. That right hand leg is clear. Just misses with the punch by Orlovsky. Five minutes in the books. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots of them play guys to choose. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Right, Let's get some oh, spinning back there. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. 
so Arlovsky's head kick looked like that one was blocked. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Nice leg kick land. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check it, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kick, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big ball from Bunch Land. Now he gets back to range. Big knee! Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. able to counter flush with a straight punch. Just a slip there. Body shot now, but it's turned back by Arlovsky. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Gets caught by that straight hand. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Beautiful leg kick throw. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's gonna have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Liver kick. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Arlovsky. Extremely swollen now. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Big kick lands. Wow. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge of the push. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got a controller hurt very bad. That shot blocked by Orlovsky. Oh! What a round. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. So a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Ready to fight? Ready. 
Third round underway. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Nice one-two combination there. He loaded up that right hand, too. Head kick. Blocks the shot. Oh, vintage Andre Arlovsky boxing there. This is a man with more than two decades in the game and still learning, still has an appetite for improvement, and he can do a whole lot worse than American Top Team when it comes to elite training partners and coaches. Oh, nice knee to the body, just what he needed there. Can't take many of those, you better Makes his Oh! What a fantastic strike. Oh. Gets up again here, but hurting. strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Three minutes to go in round three. Throwing that jab, no good. Lee gets caught with... Just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Final, final. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. Both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, seven seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Andre the Pitbull Olowski. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.